are the lives when you weren't even born yet? Right? Yeah, yeah, just in here. All her life, the mystery of her father's murder has loomed over Kiddist Forsyth. In 1993, Bulik Forsyth was a manager in the housing department of London's Lambeth Council. Three months before she was born, he was bludgeoned to death and his flat set on fire. Now Sky News has seen evidence that he could have been about to expose an alleged paedophile ring operating within council premises. There are some factors that point to him knowing something that was going on at work and he was getting ready to blow the whistle. At the time, this Crime Watch reconstruction appealed for information. Now this murder is one of the events Metropolitan Police officers looking into Westminster linked abuse are re-investigating. This internal council report, obtained by Sky News, could be key. It details allegations of violent rapes conducted on council premises and the sexual abuse of children. It's here, at what is still the headquarters for Lambeth's housing department, that a paedophile ring operating within the council is alleged to have carried out sexual assaults. They used the basement, the report says, where they could rape victims without fear of being interrupted. And the report cites new witness evidence suggesting Bulik Forsyth may indeed have been killed as part of a cover-up. He tried to get away from the housing department, telling colleagues he had information which put him at risk. Our investigation has unearthed some extraordinary allegations, but a senior detective told me they've always been taken seriously by the police, but this is their first chance at being properly investigated. That's something the family of Bulik Forsyth told me they welcome. Honestly, it's worse. I can't believe some of the stuff that's in here, I can't believe actually happened and has just gone under the radar and, been, and hasn't been investigated and looked into. Like, I was very shocked to read this. This is the first time Kiddist has seen written in black and white what she's always suspected. It says there that he was willing to spill the beans and he was scared that if he moved to another department that people in power could still get to him. So it seems that he was very fearful about something going on at work. Sky News has spoken to many people who held senior positions in Lambeth in the early 1990s. All agree there was a climate of corruption and fear. Dr Nigel Goldie has spoken out about practices in the council since he worked in the social services department. He knew Bulik Forsyth. There was quite often rather strange things happening and um, things going on behind the scenes or in ways that often were never seen to be properly explained or known about and in a way within a context of an organisation that displayed in many ways quite dysfunctional features. The significance of events that took place in Lambeth two decades ago are only now becoming clear. In a statement, the council said it was working closely with the police and is determined to do all it can to ensure perpetrators of abuse are brought to justice. The police have issued a new plea for victims to come forward and for the first time, Bulik Forsyth's family know more about the abuse he died before he could expose, but they will not give up until they know the truth. Because not only do I want justice, but all the people that have spoken in here deserve justice too. And it's horrible to think that they've had to experience some of the things that they have. Hersh, Sky News.